All right, fighthype.com here with the WBA super lightweight champion of the world, my man, Roly Romero. What's going on, Roly? What'd you think of the fight tonight, man? Ryan Garcia knocks out Oscar Duarte in eight rounds. Right. I want for I hope I I hope he don't try to do that shoulder roll shit again. That's all I can say. What did you not like about the shoulder roll? It, it, it just wasn't him. It just wasn't him. It felt it felt like he was trying to be something he wasn't. I don't know. Maybe he learned something in camp that that did that did that worked maybe a little bit in camp, but it didn't work out in the fight. You know. Well, I, I mean, um, well, I mean, what what do you think would be the better route to go? Like the high guard on the inside, or what do you mean when you say like it's not him being him? And yeah, well, I don't know. He would always just fight like this and then throw hooks, no? But no, he's over here thinking he's like Floyd Mayweather or something. I don't know. Like Derek James taught him some weird shit. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Isn't that some? Didn't he give his back sometimes when in your sparring session? Yeah, but I mean, at least he'll do it with with hands up, like not like this, you know. I mean, I I don't know because you know Derek James is. Did you see some of the improvements from Derek James though? Like you know, more of the jab, more distance control with the lead hand. And I, stuff? Don't know. I I I think Derek James is uh. You know, you know, you know how like all these fighters or trainers are like, oh, they get fighter, they get trainer of the year, and then they're the worst trainer for like the next three years. I mean, he he's on he he has a pretty bad track record. I mean, he made Ryan ten times worse. He fucked up Spence's career. Um, Anthony Joshua, I mean, go after Joshua and Frank Martin ain't looking too good. So yeah. Maybe it's time for him to go back to like Joe Goosen or something. Well, what, what he did, uh, he did call you out basically after the fight. Like that's the fight he would like like to have next. What do you think about that? I don't think he deserves it. I don't think he deserves it. Why does he not deserve it? A fight with you, Rolly? Well, I mean, he, he, I don't think he deserves it. That's why I say I don't think he deserves it. He's no, he's he might be the biggest draw in the division. So is that not? I, I understand that, like, like for yeah, but, but I don't think he deserves it. You know, he does not deserve to share a ring with. Him. Based on what, 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 what would have to what, <laughs> break this down for me? Okay, so so there we are, right? So 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 the, so the bell rings, right? And you know, the, you know, red the red makes it touch gloves, you know, all this stuff, all that stuff, right? We go in, right? Over here in a high guard, right? He over here doing some shorter rope shit. I just throw a hook, boom, knocked out, cold. Good night, just like that. Demon, maybe get twenty five seconds. With that in mind, why wouldn't you want to take a fight that you think you could make a lot of money for in 25 seconds? Like I said, honestly, I don't even want to be at 40 anymore. I'm going to be at 47. There's a lot of big names at 47 I want. Like who? Like who would you like to fight at 47? Now that Errol Spence has moved up. Oh, so he's not going to fight at 47 anymore? Because I thought he was going to rematch Crawford at 47. So he was lying. I don't recall him saying they, they he would fight. Oh, I, 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 I don't know. I heard somebody say tell, tell me that. So maybe may, may, maybe I'm wrong about hearing that. But I thought I thought he was. So so wait. So Roly is is turning down the Ryan Garcia fight. Is that what's happening? Nah, I'm fuck. I'm, I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. That that that's a big fight for boxing. That, that, I can't really say anything. That that's a big fight for boxing. Just just to get serious about the fight for a minute though, like I know you said you'll knock him out in twenty five seconds, um, but against Barroso, like we saw a more cautious version of yourself, and you know he. Well, dude, I mean, you guys gotta look at it like this. One, I mean, and let's put this into perspective. I got Barroso on a two weeks notice. 
I didn't fight for a whole year. All right. I was prepping, getting ready for play for like six months. A tall southpaw that, that you know, I was going to outbox. I was going to box him because he, did, he doesn't have good feet. And then you give me the exact opposite style. I didn't have no time to change up my, what I was doing for Bur for Barroso. For, if I would have had, like, I don't know, let's say a decent two weeks of sparring, three weeks of sparring, I, I couldn't even find... I couldn't even fly in sparring partners in time to, for for Barroso. So I, I I was you know I'm stuck sparring people that are a little this tall you know instead of taking one step back I'm taking two steps back. And on top of that, right, he's a tremendous puncher. And I said that shit in the press conference. It's like, bro, like you just do more difficult than play. He's a tremendous puncher. Like, bro, like he punched hard. I wasn't gonna take no damn risk, you know. I I I took my time. I took my time, and right when uh, and I started press, I started pressing him more after round five, and that's when he started gassing out because why? Well, reality, he didn't gas out. He was perfect because I I kept jabbing like right here, right on the fucking uh, on the liver, over and over again, and I broke him down systematically, and I dropped him. He was hurt that that round that he was hurt that last round. I landed more punches that fight than both of us put together that whole fucking fight. And he was out. Tony Weeks, I, I I hit him with a I hit him with a right hand that clipped him right here, right on the damn jaw. He buckled. I go to throw an uppercut. Tony Weeks uh pulled pulled me off. But that uppercut was about to hit him. And nobody told me that shit was not about to hit him. So <laughs> I mean, and I did all that shit on a two week fucking notice. Uh, switch up to a uh, go from a frail motherfucker like Puyo that has no power to a tremendous puncher that has 24 wins with 22 knockouts. You're tell me he's not a puncher? And I'm gonna tell you like this Bar Barroso's ugly as fuck. Like, bro, ain't nobody was helping him with his career. Ain't, I know for a fact nobody helped him with his career. That motherfucker earned every victory he had. Well, so so I get every. I, though, though. <laughs> Adjustments you made, being more patient and everything, it led to you getting a stoppage, led to you winning that world title. But one thing about you, when back when you were like sparring Ryan, you know, years ago in that that video, and all the way leading up to the tank fight too, is you very disrespectful. Don't care in the ring. You don't give too much respect to your opponent. And I think that's one of the things that that really helped you al alongside your power and being awkward. And now, you know, being more patient, like in the Barroso fight, but in a Ryan fight. Yeah, but you got to look at it like this. Yeah. I, I, in Barroso's case, I had to be thankful. I had to be thankful. One, he's an older man. I'm not going to disrespect the older man, you know. Not disrespect him because he's talking a little bit of shit, cause, you know, but whatever. But I'm not going to disrespect the older man. On top of that, right, if it wasn't for him taking uh, stepping up, I wouldn't be world champion right now. They would have to cancel the card, right or wrong. Yep. You know, and he he he, he took the fight on uh, two weeks' notice as well. You know. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I can't be. I, I I can't. You know, like I said, if it wasn't for him, the fight wouldn't have been made. So so in a because, right because fight, people like fucking play or want to go fucking do steroids and shit. So, but so in a Ryan fight though, that still that, like that lack of respect for the left hook, you know, you, obviously you don't want to get hit by it, but you still would would have that kind of energy in a in a fight towards Ryan, where you'd even get reckless if you need to. Hey, I, I mean, I I think a lot of people just miss the old Roby, you know, coming in there just. I mean, I, I had to see, you know. If that fight gets made, I I, I don't want to say too much because you know, maybe I say two or three words and he might get depression and retire for a year. Or you know, like I said, we don't we don't know what was really like what was really there. Like maybe he's speaking out of his ass. Maybe it's maybe it's some bullshit. We we don't know. But I know I know if the fight does get signed, it's gonna be one of the biggest pay per views. This year, uh, this year is going to be one of the, if not the biggest pay per view, because it's a fight that's been long overdue. 
I've been calling him out since 2017, since April 2017. April 20th, 2017. I mean, shit, I, I, know, I know it must mean something to me if I got the date memorized, you know? So it, it's a fight that's been long awaited by me, the boxing media, the boxing, the boxing fans, everyone, you know, it, it's just one of those mega fights. I mean, then you get me, like, I mean, shit, I mean, you, you get me the greatest salesman in the world, you know? And then you get a, you know, pretty princess over there, you know. So <laughs> it's a good. It, it it sounds like a good time. Sounds like a good time. You could be ready to go by March or April. That's what he's talking about. Shit. I mean, I I hope so. You know, I'm still dealing with some stuff on my end. You know, I I haven't been uh, I haven't been well. You know. Yeah, but you get you know I. I I, I think that sounds beautiful. Has your health been good? You know, I, I'm healing. I'm healing. Yeah, I'm healing. Obviously. Lastly, before I let you go, Roly, uh, thank you, bro, as always. Um, you know, you I, I know you like punchers. That's always your thing. Regis Prograde is a puncher. Do you think he be, wins that fight with Devin Haney next Saturday? I don't care. I, I I'm not surprised by your response. Yeah, I don't care. And with that, I want to thank you. Have a good night, man. Hope you did enjoy the Garcia fight tonight, and uh, we look we all look forward to seeing you take the ring soon, man. Yeah, let let's see let's see if it works out. You know, like I said, that that that's a tremendous fight.